dropping another video for you guys. This video is strictly going to be on the reading portion of the ATITs version 6, okay? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new and you won't want to become a part of the family in the group, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and turn on your post notifications. But if you're returning, thank you so much for your unconditional support because you truly are a real one. And honestly, I don't know where I will be without you guys because y'all are really showing up and showing out. And I'm so thankful for the support. So I'm about to drop another video for you guys. Give me one second because I did record um, a video of the science section strictly focusing on the science section. I'll drop that in the description below as well. And I also recorded a video of all overall of all the sections combined together and I will drop that in the description as well. I've just come to the realization that you guys like when I do educational videos especially about the ATIT since I've taken it already January 28th and I still it's 2020 I have background knowledge about it and some of you guys have to take it so you're just here for the gems and I that's what I'm trying to give you and I will do um, a separate video on the math section as well and the English English section as well. But today, it's about the reading. Okay. My score for the reading section, I think it was either between, I think it was 89 or 90. Roughly one of those numbers. I can't remember exactly which one, but it's one of those numbers. But my overall score, I did score in the advanced category of the um, the ATIT. So let's just jump right into the video about the reading section because this is why y'all are here. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment, like, share, and turn your not notifications as well. Okay, so the reading section, you have 47 questions in 53 minutes that's roughly around a minute and like 10 seconds a rough estimate per question you have a little bit over a minute to answer each question so you don't run out of time because time is of an essence with the reading section when I tell you guys I literally probably had 10 seconds left when I was finishing my last question because it was rough so the reading section is broken down into three categories. You have the key idea, key, why did I say idea? Key ideas and um, details. You have craft and structure, and you have integration of knowledge and ideas. Most of those questions will come from your key idea, key ideas and details, okay? I do have some little notes and so, but the main resource that I use for, to study for the reading section of the ATIT's version, version 6 was um, the, the Yellow Momentrics book, ATI Secrets. You can get it from Barnes & Nobles or Amazon, but I got mine from Barnes & Nobles because it had a 15% discount. And I know that saving money is very, very important, so you want to go with the cheaper route. Amazon, I think, is like 40 something dollars, but hey, it's just like a couple of dollar difference. And that's the only resource that I use to prepare myself for the reading section. Honestly, reading isn't that difficult for me, but if you're having a hard time understanding stuff, then I would suggest using other resources as well. But it's not it wasn't that hard for me. And I probably studied roughly about two weeks for just this section. I put most of my effort in um, science because everybody knows science is whatever. Okay, so the tips that I have, um, excuse me, the tips that I have for you guys for the reading section, it's only a few um, before I get into breaking down each section of the reading portion. So the first tip is always read your question before you read your paragraph or your statement. Don't waste your time, well, don't waste your time reading a paragraph. Be, before you read the question because if you read the question first 
then you know what you're going to be looking for and you won't have to read the entire paragraph or you can say for example it says paragraph three what does this word infer you can always skip to paragraph three instead of reading the whole thing so definitely read the question before you read the paragraph or your, the statement number two is pace yourself spend about a minute and some seconds on each question of course each question will not take a minute but you don't want to run out of time and you have some more questions left to answer so definitely pace yourself and don't second guess yourself on this part at all majority of the time go with your first answer because typically that's going to be the right answer if you think it's another answer if you can do your process of elimination do it but don't second guess yourself on this portion because i promise to god you'll be like why did i change that answer it could have been the right answer but i changed it so don't second guess yourself that's about all the tips that I, oh, and just breathe. Those are the tips that I have for this section, but um, what I saw on my test was um, you guys should definitely know logical conclusion. When I tell you to know logical conclusion, like the back of your head, know what it means and how to find logical conclusion. I had so many questions about logical conclusion it was unreal no inferences no how to find the topic sentence and main idea um definitely no facts and opinions no which one is a fact which one is opinion know how to identify opinions by the words there are some words that definitely identify as an opinion even though it can sound like a fact know the difference between those two because I had multiple questions about that as well. Um, know stereotype and biases. Know the different types of passages. Narrative passage, expository, persuasive. Those are the three main ones. Um, it says technical, but I didn't have any questions about any technical passages. Definitely know what a narrative passage is, expository and persuasive no compare and contrast and cause and effect those types of um the difference between those uh, know that the purpose of a narrative passage is always to entertain it tells a story always to entertain expository the purpose is to inform basically to enlighten and persuasive of course the purpose is to persuade so know which passage type means, well, know the purpose of each passage. Uh, that's no purpose, no, like, what's the purpose of the paragraph. Uh, know the difference between dictionary, thesaurus, appendix, almanac, index, because I did have some questions about that. No primary and secondary sources and how to find one. Know what theme is as well. Hey guys, so I'm just going to finish the end part of my video in my room. Different scenery as you could tell. But like I was saying, just know everything that I mentioned previously about what to expect to be on the, um, the reading section of the ATIT's version 6. Everything I said, I had at least one question of that on my test and you really don't have to put too much effort into the reading section just because it's not that difficult as long as you put at least two two weeks in you should be fine literally you probably really don't even gotta study for it you can just do a little refresher but if you of course you want to put more work into it to get a higher score and um, if you have any questions or concerns, you know, you can always drop them in the comments section below. Or you can follow me on my personal Instagram at Maisha Chantel and DM me and I will get back to you guys shortly. Hopefully within 48 hours in response time. Also, um, I really don't have any notes on the reading section that I can send to anyone. 
but if you do want some more information I can um, see if I can type something up in an email and do an email blast like I did for the science section but yeah just make sure you give this video a thumb up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to subscribe comment and like see you guys next Sunday for the math section okay